Sarah Backhouse for the Hub Culture. I'm now joined by Ben Orjibor of the California Solar Energy Institute. Welcome, Ben. Thank you. Tell me about some of the work that you're doing at the California Solar Institute. At the Institute, what we try to do is work with uh, the government institutions, uh, educational institutions, manufacturers of solar energy products, and developers. Uh, we, we kind of be the happy medium uh, bringing them together to do the solar energy projects in California and other surrounding states. And how successful have you been in bringing everyone together? It's been challenging, but uh, <laughs> just because of the economy right now. Right. And we've been trying to get a happy medium for folks to still do projects, even as hard as it is. Uh, we invite manufacturers from outside of states uh, to come to our golden state because it's, we have the vitamin D so abundant. <laughs> Uh, to do big solar utility projects. We have local developers, uh, we have the land. So we try to bring them together, uh, all the financial institutions we try to invite to finance the projects. But overall, uh, we've been successful so far. We have some projects in the works, uh, close to 100 megawatts. How is solar doing as an industry compared with other alternative energy sources? Well, solar is going to be the economic driver for the next couple of years. However, because of the economy, uh, capacity to really uh, get the full value is, uh, is kind of limited at this point. But we're pushing ahead right now. A lot of international corporations are coming to town and they're doing big projects. Uh, up to a gigawatt is being proposed for the next couple of years. So. Uh, California is on track to meet its 33% uh, energy uh, goals. And do you think it's life likely to meet those? I think so. I think so. With the moves we're making at the institution, uh, working with different manufacturers and developers, I think uh, we're going to be on track. Okay. And our overall goal, uh, just so you guys know, is we want to promote employment. We want folks to get back to working again. We want California to get back to manufacturing again. Uh, take back its position as uh, not only an economic power center, but also a place where uh, industries can come back and, and employ local people, so we, we're able to take advantage of the economy. Well, jobs is a very key uh, issue right now, as we saw in the last election. How many people potentially could the solar industry employ? Oh, millions of people, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, in the next 10 years, maybe up to 2 million people, you know, uh, just from the development standpoint, uh, manufacturing uh, and doing the real projects. So if we have a feeding tariff, which is not in place right now, because uh, feeding tariffs is the economic driver for solar energy projects, uh, right now in California or in the United States period, we don't have anything. If we can raise it up to meet the EU standards up to 40 cents per kilowatt hour, I think the whole world would know we're serious about solar energy and they want to come out here and, uh, and do projects. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, Ben, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate hey, you. Thank you very long. much.